Um, well, oh, my, I'm talking about me having a wife, though. I mean, I didn't never put away my wife. It's a matter of what, you see, what I provide for the home, right? See, I've been telling you and giving the scripture. I've been preaching. I've been praying. I've been putting towards tables. I've been doing what a man, a walk, um, a, a man that has walked with God. I've been doing that. Now, it's up to her, right, to listen to the husband, right? Not trying to be like trying to take a look at this. I'm not taking the next man's wife or doing a pastor's wife. You see, see, I'm preaching and I've been doing what I got to do. But it's always an excuse. So before you thinking, oh, I'm supposed to lose out on my wife. I didn't lose out on my wife because I have yet to see her and we talk and discuss. So you didn't take away my wife. You didn't take away my woman. But how people talk about me. So see, I didn't lose out on a woman. Gotta be there to start something. You feel me? Gotta be there thoroughly. But what I'm telling you is I got responsibilities to do and if you ain't supporting me, then dang, you basically threw me out. But it's okay. I'm still a willing vessel. So if you're looking at a next man's, look at this. Next man's wife anyways. What are you doing looking at next man's wife? Then you know they're supposed to be together. Can't say I didn't cherish the wife. Didn't say I didn't pray for her. And whoever. So you, you know what I mean? Can't say I didn't mistreat, you know, her and stuff like that. And you know, I took care of somebody. And you can't say that. Oh, this and this and that, but can't say they're with too all the way. When they, you know, when they say, oh, and when I've been told I'm not their type or this and this and that. So it can't be my woman because you got to be equally yoked. You got to be equally yoked. Now, I'm teaching you. So, like I said, Regardless, whoever's starting in the cuckoo cuckoo up, but look at this. I'm focused on what matters the most. Look at the times we're in. Look what happened to, you know what I'm saying? Who's trying to be, you know, all that stuff. You're not listening. You think we have all, but look, I'm trying to tell you, I'm waiting for you, right? But you can't blame me. Because what are you doing? Are you giving me a hard time, but never around me? You're not communicating with me, right? So you can't, if you're not communicating with me in person, in person, look eye to eyes and show me respect, then there is no love from you at all. So you ain't doing it right. You should be looking in my eyes and say, we're going over this stuff, not with most other people and trying to do that. You understand what I'm saying? You're supposed to be able to look at me in my eyes, front in person, and tell me. So before anyone thinks that they're with me, and stuff like that. You know. It's supposed to be between, between husband and wife, right? The whole time. All the time. In person. Bump heads and not. So when, when did we go and we get married with a ring on and get vowed and everything else? And when did we even just even... Hold together. If you can't do all the way through, then you can't say you love unconditionally. You're only what can do what benefits you, and that's not, you know what I mean? So you could say, I'm not, but you're not with me. You're not. You're not with me whatsoever. If I had a wife and kids, absolutely take care of them. Best I can, and work together, and do whatever. I'm a team player. I'm not a cheater. But now, if you can't show up, then hey, don't say that I haven't put up because I put up everything to the table and show you. 
I'm already on that hot topic about Donald Trump. Guess what? I'm not celebrating. Now, it's a time to talk about it because it's a perfect time to talk about it. Why not? Because guess what? For me being such a terrorist, I've been called before and stuff like that. Does it look like I do that? No. You shoot your own people like I talked about. Look at look at this. You say we the people. You shoot your own people. So that's what I'm saying. That's exactly what I'm saying. You guys do this to yourselves. You have done this to yourselves. It ain't me that's doing it. It is not me that's doing it. It's you all. Not me. Remember, you got your free wills, right? That's what you said. You got your free wills, but then again, you're slaves. I'm not the one slaving you, but it's kind of really iffy, though, to me, though. We can talk about it. Joe Biden, you want to listen to it. it it's, you know, all the, this, that, whatever it is. You guys, that's what you guys say. Or you guys do this and that. I let God be God. I didn't vote for either or. If they want to be real about it. But I, you know, hey. I'm not coming at somebody, whether you're Trump or you Joe Biden. I'm not either or. You can't be with the people if you're aiming at and you can't be this and this and that. I told you get right with God. G-O-D. God gets all the glory. So like I told you all, it ain't just about me. It ain't just about you. All either. It's actually, it's actually about God. I'm not the Antichrist. I'm not the enemy of the cross. Because you can't depart me from the word. I was born and raised going to church. Hey, I've been through this route before. And like I said, I've been honest. Hey, maybe, you know, hey, you need to understand. I'm not the one to tell you to shoot people either. I told you you want to prosper? Trust God. Because... You see what's going on. And it's... Who signed the peace treaty? Who signed all the things and trying to get everybody to get together? And, you know, and look at who's been going with this and all of this stuff. And who's really going on with this? And I've said it many times, if you really think about it. And you see that once, you know, everything's in the Lord and then some... Bam, bam, bam. You feel what I'm saying? Who's really, let's really go deep in depth. Who's, who, has the, who has a lot of money? And everyone wants to say, oh, the, the, the church having a lot of money too, though. And they, some people say, oh, you don't have Joe's, or, you know, or, you know, they want to talk about Joel Osteen. They want to talk about this. Someone talking about that. I get it. I understand that. But let's really think about it deep in depth. I mean, you know what I mean? Let's really think about it before you call me some type of this and some type of that. They like, think, oh, but we see now, but we, here's the thing about it is this. Look how it all throws the timeline and everything else. Let's look, look at everything that's going on. And let's look at all of this. This is just to show you. You know what I'm saying? Look at prophecy, the biblical prophecy right before your very eyes. 
Oh, we talk about it. Yes, we talk about we get it somewhere, right? I've been to this. You just didn't want to listen. You'd be quick to what? Yeah, 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 right? So, and who's the one getting quickly married and everything else and getting drunk and party everywhere and all of this too? And I've been saying, and, 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 I mean, in all kinds of ways, how can this shape or form to put it to you? But, oh, no, well, now you see it now, right? Right before your very eyes. Biblical prophecy, I think I introduced you all into it to tell you all. Some people didn't want to hear it. Some people didn't want to do all of that. But watch. Watch what happens. I'm telling to tell you now. And you don't want to hear it. But you see, you're going to see. You're going to see. You see, I love God. What do I have to hide? And so you evidently see that coming when I was going to post that too. But I've been trying to tell you this already. I'm going to have to keep on going and revisit this. Well, all right. Well, I'm trying to tell you. One day at a time. One day at a time. One day at a time. So...